Hello scholars, it's Mr. Jimenez, and today we'll be doing another guided lab. Today's guided lab is about magnetism. Magnetism, magnetism. What is magnetism, Mr. Jimenez? Well, I'll tell you, and I have my magic wand, my magnetic wand, my magnetic magic wand. Oh my god, I'm so great. I'm so smart. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna grab a different one. I like yellow. The yellow is my favorite color. So here, now I have my magnetic my yellow magnetic magic wand to show you exactly what magnetism is. So if you're familiar with magnets, you will know that some materials are attracted or they're drawn closer to a magnet and some materials are repelled or pushed away from magnets. We have words for those and we use them in science because science is basically just filled with vocabulary. We learned a lot of new words in science. So let's talk about it. Um, some materials are magnetic, some are not. So let's test that and let me show you an example of some materials that can be magnetic and some materials that cannot not be magnetic. So I've got my trusty magic wand and I'm gonna run my magnet towards my scissors. And I want you to watch what happens. So let me put the angle down. And you know what? I'm gonna use two wands so that you can see exactly what part of this ruler is magnetic and what part is not. So let's see. I have two mag magic magnetic wands. And let's see what happens as I push them closer. I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Which of these is pulling the scissors? What part, what side of this is pulling the scissors? The middle part or the plastic? What do you think? You're right. The metal or the steel part of the scissors is magnetic because it is attracted or it is drawn closer to the magnet. If I were to flip this around, let's see what happens. It's repelled, meaning it is pushed away from the magnet and then gravity made it drop, but that's extra. We'll talk about that later. This also happens with magnets. Some magnets can be attracted to each other but they can also be repelled. Watch what happens when I do this. I'm not touching that. It's attracted, if I flip it around. Not crazy. And I can, I can keep doing that because magnets can be attracted, but they can also be repelled by each other. So let's try this and let's test this theory on different materials. Now, a common misconception and something, something, ugh, my words got all jumbled. Something that a lot of people think is that all metals are magnetic. And I want to tell you right now, that's false. That is not true. And don't believe it. Because that's not the case. And I'm going to show you how some metals can be magnetic, but some cannot. So let's test these materials. The first material we're going to test is our handy dandy cork. Now, if you remember, cork is a wood. Now, in your experience, is wood magnetic? Let's test and see. So I'm gonna stand it here. If, I, if it is picked up by the magnet, then yes, it is magnetic. If it is not, then it is not magnetic. So let's see. Boom, I'm gonna touch it. Let's see if it comes up. Ready, one, two, three. Did it come up? It did not. So is this cork magnetic or non-magnetic? Ow, I hit myself, that hurt. Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? What do you think? Make sure you record it in your, in your assignment. I was almost said notes. I'm trying not to say notes because I keep making that mistake. All right, so we've tested one material. Let's test another one. Next, we're gonna test a sugar cube. Sugar cubes, are they magnetic or non-magnetic. Let's find out. 
Ready, one, two, three. Bump. Nothing. Maybe if I use two? No, oh, they're just sticking to each other. Oh gosh, oh gosh. No, it's not working. So is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Record it. Let's keep going, let's keep going. We got a couple more to go. Next, we're gonna try a penny. Now, pennies are made out of, of a very interesting metal called copper. Tell me, what are pennies made out of, everyone? You're right, copper. Let's see if copper, which is a metal, is magnetic. Let's see. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, it's not working. But it's a metal. Shouldn't all metals work? You're right. If you remember correctly, earlier I said that not all metals are magnetic. So is a copper penny magnetic? No, it's not because it is not attracted to the magnet. And I gave you an answer, so just write it down, okay? But remember that pennies are not magnetic. It is very important you remember this. Next material is an iron nail. Now, iron is another type of metal. It is not made out of copper. It's made out of iron. So let's see if this iron nail is magnetic or if it is not magnetic. Let's go ahead and try it. Ready? Ready, one, two, three. <gasps> Magic, where's the nail? It is stuck to our magnet. So is our iron nail magnetic or not magnetic? You be the judge, put it in your assignment. Next material is a craft stick, this, which is made out of wood. Now remember, we tested another wood object earlier, which was cork. What do you remember about the wood? Let's see if it's true for this wood too. Ready, one, two, three. No, it's not working. Why is it not working? Is this popsicle stick magnetic or not magnetic? What do you think? Hmm, put it down in your notes. And then we're gonna test two more objects. Now what I'm gonna do with these objects is I'm gonna be a little safe because if they get stuck to my magnet, they're so small that they're gonna be really hard to pull out. So let's use this plastic bag. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna wrap my magnet in it just to be safe. So it's, now it's my plastic magic yellow magnetic wand. Oh my God, so many words. But it still works just fine. Right, if I put my iron nail, it sticks because it is attracted to the magnet. So the next material we're gonna use is sand. Now I'm gonna get a little bit closer to you so that you can see this up close. I'm gonna dip my, um, my wand in here and I'm gonna see if anything sticks to my magnetic wand. Do you see anything on there? I don't. Why? Well, because the sand is not attracted to the magnet. So what do we call? What do we say? Is the sand magnetic or non-magnetic? Hmm. Write it down in your notes. Not your notes. Oh my God, I said it again. In your assignment. Oh gosh, Mr. Jimenez, you gotta fix that. And then last but not least is a material called iron filings. We talked about this earlier with the conductivity lab. And we know that this is tiny pieces of metal. So let's try it. Are iron filings magnetic or non-magnetic? Let's see. I'm gonna take it here. And I'm gonna dip this in there very carefully. Watch what's happening. Watch what's happening. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. So what do you think? Are these iron filings magnetic? or non-magnetic, hmm. They're obviously stuck and they're making really cool formations. Let me move over here, you can see a little bit better. I'll get closer, I just don't wanna get it on my computer. Boop. So, are iron filings magnetic or non-magnetic? What do you think, guys, what do you think? Write it down in your assignment. Boom, 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 boom. Write it down, write it down. All righty, guys. And that is my last material.
iron filings are my last material. So make sure that you, after you watch this video, you go back to Microsoft Teams and you finish the assignment and you click submit. Okay, so that I can go back and to see if your um, answers were correct or incorrect. All right, so I look forward to seeing you all later. And I hope you like this lab because I had a lot of fun doing it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.